before we start this video out, I want to say something. This is not meant to be a rant video or anything like that. I want to have a discussion about something that genuinely concerns me about Skylanders Imaginators. Hey there guys, Portalmaster9351 here, and in this video, like I said in the very beginning, I want to talk about something that really does concern me. Now, before we really get into this, I do want to say I'm not trying to copy Alpha Ambush or Prime Skylanders in terms of format here. I'm just attempting to test out my friend's microphone. Um, I'm working on a top secret project with the two of the people that I actually just mentioned, and it's going to involve this uh, uh, very nice microphone. I just want to do some testing with it before I actually, um, you know, use it for the top secret project. But anyways, let's hop into this. So it was recently revealed that after you create or after you create an imaginator and you pick the battle class for the imaginator, you will not be able to change the battle class. Now, as I said, I'm not really terribly upset by this, um, you know, because I am going to be carefully planning out my imaginators anyways. Um, I was really only originally planning on getting one of every imaginite crystal, and this honestly does not change my opinion on that matter. I'm not buying more than one imaginite crystal. Um, maybe there would be some sort of an exception if there's a variant or some really cool looking one, but really, I don't see myself doing that. I really just do not see myself buying multiple creation crystals. And I don't think a lot of others did as well, unless they had a bunch of characters that they were really planning on making. But what bothers me about this is that we're going to have so many little kids. Think about all the little kids that don't know better, can't read very well, or just are just really excited to get into the game. They are going to... They're going to get a creation crystal. They're going to set it to quick shot or something like that, not even knowing what a quick shot is. They're going to be like, oh, now I want to try out a smasher. Oh, too bad. You need to buy a new creation crystal to try out a smasher. That's not good. That is terrible. That is absolutely horrible. A terrible business choice. You know, I respect Activision. Activision makes wonderful games, um, and they make wonderful Skylander figures and all that type of stuff. It's a wonderful company, but they have made some really poor business uh, decisions in doing this. I mean, it really does not encourage me to buy any more Imaginite crystals. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, you know, there's going to be plenty of senseis for me to try out anyways, and really, it really, like I said, it just does not motivate me to buy any additional crystals, and I honestly think that it's a very bad idea to do this. Now, you know, like I said, you know, I'm not angry about this so much. I am, like I said, I'm concerned. You know, sales have been down, and I'm not saying doom and gloom end of Skylanders. That's, I'm not that kind of person, and I don't believe that's the case, because I've said before, I think there's, at the very least, a Skylander 7. So I'm not saying that if, if sales are poor again, it's going to be the end of the series or anything like that. I'm just saying that I don't think that this is going to sell well, because People are going to get these crystals, and they're going to the, the first thing they're going to think is, wow, this is a blatant cash grab. This really does not make me want to support this company anymore. I guarantee you that's the first thing that these people are going to think that are like just getting into the series. I mean, I honestly do not understand the purpose of this other than a blatant cash grab. I mean, I understand Activision is a business. Activision needs to make money, but... This just seems taking it to an extreme. You know, I don't have a problem with the fact that you need a life sensei to get into a life elemental gate or a fire sensei to get into a fire elemental gate rather than just a fire Skylander. You know, I don't have a problem with that because that was the case in Trap Team and it didn't really bother me that much in Trap Team either except for the fact that they weren't all available at launch. That was the part that got me. So, you know, that doesn't really bother me. You know, I will take a lot of, of what Activision does, and I won't really complain about it because it doesn't really bother me. But this one, honestly, it really does bother me because, I mean, it's just a ridiculous business choice altogether. How am I supposed to know if I want a, sm a fire smasher or a fire quick shot? without going out and buying 10 fire creation crystals and trying them all out. You know, that would be 10 battle classes times 10 elements. That would be 100 creation crystals at 10 bucks a piece, $1,000 worth of creation crystals. You know, I'm a Skylanders fan, but I'm not spending $1,000 to get every, um, you know, every single creation crystal combination. I'm not going to do that. Do not expect me to do that. I will never, ever, ever 
do that. So I just think it's ridiculous that that's essentially what they want us to do. They want us hardcore collectors to go out and buy 10 of every crystal. That That's not happening. I'm telling you that right now, Activision. That's not happening. And, you know... As a person who loves this series and wants to see it continue, I want to see people enjoying the game. I want to see you guys getting repeat customers. I'm doing this not out of hate for this decision, but out of love for the game, you know. I I really just want to see Skylanders thrive, and that's why I think that Activision doing this is a very stupid decision overall, you know. Um, there's a certain video, and I'll link it down in the description, that prompted me into making this, but um, it's basically calling for Activision to change this, and I think that if enough of us can back this, we can get it to change. Coinop TV even is going out there and is changing it, uh, or is not changing it, but rather uh, promoting things that are talking about changing it on his Twitter. You know, there are multiple uh, people with contracts that are upset about this, and honestly, it, um, you know, it, it, it does not seem right to me to do this, and it's one of the reasons I wanted to make this video. I wanted to let you guys know, um, my 795 as of right now subscribers, that this is a problem and we need to fix it. And the only way I know how to fix it is a petition. So there's a petition. I believe it's on change.org. Don't hold me to that. I'll have to find the petition, but I will put it down in the description. Um, and you can go on there and you can sign that petition uh, for Activision to change this because it is something that is, I believe, going to be a major issue um, if it ends up becoming a thing um, and, you know, these things are unchangeable. And see, here's the thing, though. People have already found an exploit that they think will allow them to reset the Imaginite crystals. You know, so that's the thing. Activision, if you don't make it where we can change the battle classes, people are going to go out there and they're going to find ways to reset the figures and they're going to post it all over the internet. I'm not condoning that, but I'm saying that that's what's going to happen. You make it where it can't be done in the game, well, people will find other ways around it. You know, it's not something that's that people aren't going to find a way around. You know, that that's that there's always exploits, and I honestly don't think that they can fix it all. So I think that truly this is a problem, and we do need to address it. So I hope you guys agree with me. You can actually discuss this down in the comments what you think, because that is something I am very interested in hearing. What do you guys think about this issue? Because I personally don't think it's right, and I want it to change, to be completely honest. So yeah, um, I hate to be this negative in this video, um, but I just feel like this is something that needed to be said. Anyways, this has been Portal Master 9351. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!